One sunny morning, Luke was puffing along the line with the delivery of slight and stone to take to Homestead Castle. Suddenly, he had to stop. It was the farmer driving his sheep across the line. Oh! Don't, Mummy Luke. <laughs> they won't eat you. I'm glad they don't. The Prince of the Meadow Luke soon arrived at the signal by the meadow. The meadow was one of his favorite places on the whole railway, because he would often see his friend, the young deer, playing with his friends and mother. I wonder where he'll be today. Why was everyone still? I wonder what's going on. I think I can see what's going on. Look, take a look over there. Oh! Luke saw that in front of the herd was a large deer with large antlers. They all watched as the deer strolled along the meadow. I think that must be my friend's father. Then, the deer stopped and stared at Luke. Luke tried to give it a friendly smile. Uh, hello? The large deer raised his ears. That meant it is happy to see Luke. Luke was surprised. That one stopped and looked at me. Yes, I know, old boy. But why was everyone still when he came on the meadow? I think they all respect him. It's just like in a book of Bambi I used to read to my son. How so? Well, out of all the deer on this land, not one has lived half so long as him. He is very brave and very wise. That's why he is known as the Great Prince of the Forest. I wish I could be like that, so people can look up to me in the future. I'm sure you will one day, Luke. I'm sure you will one day. Later that morning, Luke and Duncan were working at the Blue Mountain Quarry when the Thin Controller arrived to see them. Luke, I need you to go back to the castle and drop off a special delivery. What is it, sir? It's something that will help finish up the Earl's Railway Museum. Yes, sir! That means I'll get to see my friend again! Ha! They just study I got it! Those animals in the meadow better look out. I hear there are hunters about today. Oh, don't talk about that, Duncan! Even though Duncan was only teasing, Luke never liked talking about hunters, as he is aware that they hunt animals for food. Luke was making a good time on his journey. He soon arrived at the meadow, and as it was a nice day for a picnic, his driver stopped him in the siding and took his sandwiches to a perfect spot in the field. Yeah, I think it's been an easy day today. It sure is, sir. I hope the young deer and his mother will be okay. Duncan said there will be hunters about. I'm sure that won't happen, Luke. Everyone on the island loves this meadow, and they won't stop until the animals are safe. <sighs> Thanks, sir. Sir? But Luke's driver didn't answer. It was so warm that he soon fell asleep right after he opened his lunchbox. <sighs> oh, yeah. I hope me animals will be alright. His hopes were soon dashed. Just then, the crows flew in one direction away from the meadow. And then soon after, the large deer with large antlers quickly charged out of the forest. 
That means the hunters are coming, and they had to leave the meadow. Quickly! Oh no! The hunters are coming! <laughs> what on earth is going on? The noise woke Luke's driver just in time to see the animals scurrying quickly across the meadow. And then he turned around in time to see a deer stamping over his sandwiches. Oh, bother! Beggars my lunch! Oh no, look! Luke saw something horrifying. His friend, the young deer, and his mother were separated and couldn't find each other. Oh! Luckily, the large deer gathered them together and headed towards the forest entrance. Hooray! They're saved! I wouldn't say that, Luke. Look! There are hunters in that bush, waiting to catch them! Oh no! What are we going to do? Our line goes by that bush, so we are going to stop them! Come on! They've seen us! Now look, we charge when I tell you! Now! Luke reached so much steam that the hunters didn't see any animals at all. <laughs> oh my god! Do you have to make so much steam? <coughs> You've let our animals escape! Well, you can't catch them! They don't deserve to be shot dead! Exactly! It was Sheriff. And it was a good thing Luke had distracted you lot. You lot are hunting in a no hunting zone, so I hereby place you lot under arrest as well as a hefty fine. Oh man. Later, Luke arrived at Ustead Castle. While his driver went to get some lunch, Luke told Reneus and Millie about what had happened. Those hunters better keep away from my paintwork. I wonder if those gunshots were the reason my coach has got broken windows and scratched paint. That was really brave of you, Luke, to stop those hunters. I think you make a great prince on the railway. Thank you, Millie. I suppose I do make a great prince of my friend's father. Luke was very happy that his friend was safe, and he now feels that he does make a great prince 